What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the brand new WWE Ultimate Edition Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn figures. Now, typically I wouldn't do two in one unless it was a tag team, usually. And I know these guys were a tag team, right? I mean, this is based off the WrestleMania 39 night one win over the Usos in the main event. And they were a tag team, and they've been close and all these different things throughout their careers. But, you know, it's not like the Young Bucks. It's not the Usos. It's not these different things. So, technically they are a tag team, but they're also single stars as they are now, right now on WWE television. Kevin Owens is one one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, and Sami Zayn is another guy that I enjoy very, very much. And to get them in Ultimate Edition form is certainly something I've been wanting to see. I like when they include main talent or main roster current day 2024 or modern day figures. So I always appreciate that. But if you guys already like what you see out of these figures, you want to grab these, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would greatly appreciate the support as always. But this is based off WrestleMania 39, and based on some things I've seen online on the waves, I don't know how I'm going to feel about these figures. Now, coming into this, there were some things about these figures I didn't like already. So, how will they play out? Are they going to be shish? Are they going to be good? Are they going to be somewhere in between? We're going to find all that out today, man. Now, getting a Kevin Owens Ultimate Edition is something I've wanted for a long time. Getting a Screaming Head Sculpt, getting some different things in here I've been very excited for, but apparently this figure is pretty bummy from what I've seen, but you have the handsome fellow over there on the side and then on the back, you do get a shot of the figure there, which is always a prototype image. They always use a prototype image here, I guess, so that they can use it on the figure's packaging right? They can't use the official thing because they got to put the official thing on the official packaging of the official thing and it wouldn't make any sense. But then you got Kung Fu Panda. And then on this side, we do have Samuel Zayn who looks pretty damn good. Got like a Thor look on him. I, I wasn't a big fan of the smiling head sculpt, which we'll get into, but you have the tag titles, shirt, all the good stuff in there. Nice photo of him there with the WrestleMania T. And then on the back again, you do have Samuel Zayn here. Sami Zayn flying through the air right there and all the good stuff going on. But with that being said, man, you know, we don't typically do Ultimate Edition reviews 2-in-1, but today we're changing that up. We are going to, in fact, do a 2-in-1 Ultimate Edition review. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up, crack these guys out of the packaging, find out what they're about, and see if these Ultimate Editions of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are any good. So here's Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's Ultimate Edition figures out of our packaging here, man. And, you know, I like some things about both these figures, but there are certainly some things that I am not a fan of. And we're going to, of course, dive into all those things. I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of every figure that comes through this review station, man. I don't give a damn what logos are on it. I don't give a damn what talent it is. We're going to break it all down here for you, and we're going to give you all the goods and the bads of these figures, man. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the accessories of their figures. And we're going to put them all together since they are a tag team. I typically do the tag teams together so we will put their accessories together and then we will run it back and take a closer look at Sami Zayn first and then of course Kevin Owens right after that so let's get into it all right so here's every single accessory that you get with your ultimate edition Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn figures now the only thing is this doesn't include the arms but they don't have interchangeable arms it's just standard accessories with cloth goods but for me I felt like they looked very bare in the packaging I don't know like they come with a pretty good amount it's just when I look at them in like minimum card at the beginning of the video they just look bare as hell I don't know but getting into Kevin Owens first, man, starting out with the head sculpt, this is a repeat of the Elite 101 head sculpt, which I didn't like. I thought that it looked a bit, I don't know, it just looks a bit goofy how he's like poking his lips. I'm just not a fan of it. I prefer like a pissed off Kevin Owens, like an Elite 91 or something like that. Not a terrible head sculpt, it's just not my favorite. I, I just don't prefer this one, but it's got good paint apps and things. But we do have this brand new head sculpt, which is the Smiling Head Sculpt, which I don't hate. I think it does have some likeness to Kevin Owens. I, I like it for the most part. It's not my favorite of all time, but I do like it. I like the fade and the beard and everything. Everything. Looks pretty clean. I feel like I have a little schmutz on the tip of my nose, but for the most part, it looks like Kevin Owens, so I can't really complain there. I think it looks pretty good for for the most part. And last but not least, we do have the yelling head sculpt, or really, it's just the mouth wide open head sculpt, because I don't really feel like he's... You know what I mean? When you're yelling, man, your eyebrows seem to, like, squint down, right? If you're, you know, especially Kevin Owens, during his entrance and stuff, like, if you look at the Elite 101 bald Austin Kevin Owens mockery head sculpt, see how much better this looks? Because he's actually angry and he's yelling. This one just looks like he's opening his mouth at the dentist. You see what I'm saying? This one looks like he's like, I'm about to raise hell and beat your A, and then this one's like, ah, like you're just waiting to, I don't know, like have a damn, get a tooth pulled or something, man. Or like you're eating something. I don't know. I just had high hopes for this head sculpt, but I really don't care for it all that much. And with the Kevin Owens Ultimate, you also get the sleeveless WrestleZania and KO Mania shirt, which says WrestleZania goes Hollywood there on the front, and then on the back it does say, you know, KO duct tape over the Wrestle for KO Mania, which is something he's done every year at WrestleMania. 
Wrestlemania, but it's nice. It doesn't have any Velcro. It stretches nice and everything like that. I just wish that this wasn't, like, while I was there for that moment and enjoy this moment, and it was a fantastic match, and one of probably my favorite matches I've ever witnessed in real life, in person, you know? I just, I just hate that Kevin Owens Ultimate Edition figure didn't come with two or three shirts, and that kind of bothers me, but it does come with a cloth goods nice shirt. And then, of course, both guys do come with a singular Raw Tag Team Championship, and they are the metallic versions. The straps on these always look damn orange or something, though. They don't really look red. Like, I guess they look red, but they're not, they're not a good red. They're more of a, they look orange, man. They look orange, but you do get the Raw Tag Titles, one with Kevin and one with Zayn. And then each guy also comes with a SmackDown Tag Title. I don't know why the damn exposure's all messed up, but they are also shiny. And these titles have been replaced now. They just got replaced, like, two, three days ago. So, yeah, no longer have to look at these. Thank God those Spartan heads are gone. Even though I'm not a big fan of the new tag titles, they're certainly better than this. And then finishing up Kevin Owens' accessories, you do get fisted black tape hands with his tattoos and fists to beat the hell out of you. You get weapon-wielding or mic-wielding hands, which are very nice. And they all have black pegs, so you don't get that dumb illusion breakup. And then he also comes with new, improved Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands. I guess you could use this to... You could do, like, hands wide open, hands shaking, slapping, suck at hands, like, all kinds of different stuff with these hands. And then for Sami Zayn's accessories, you do get this cloth goods t-shirt, which does have... It's the same exact shirt. They are the exact same shirt, except Sami Zayn's is a t-shirt, and then Kevin Owens is, of course, a cutoff shirt, which I guess they're both t-shirts, but you know what I mean. One of them is cut off on the sleeves, and one of them does have the sleeves on there, so that's the only difference between the two. But it's a nice shirt. Fits the figure well, too. And then for Sami Zayn's interchangeable head sculpts, you do get this resting face, which I really like. I love the likeness on this one, and it looks to be the Elite 106 figure, except it's painted differently. And you guys can see here, the Ultimate Edition's more reddish tone, probably more realistic, and then the Elite is more brownish, dark brown, light brown, and then this one has a, a red hint to it. So this one's probably more accurate on the Ultimate. We also get this new smiling Sami Zayn head sculpt, which I like. I, I like the likeness here, and he's looking off to the right. He reminds me of a certain cartoon character, but I can't remember exactly who it is. Maybe I can think of that later, but I like this. I like this head sculpt. In the uh, promo images, he looked a bit derpy, but he's looking pretty good. And then here's the head sculpt I don't like, and it is the, I call it the Thor head sculpt or something, because it kind of just reminds me of Thor, like that messy head sculpt or the messy hair, and then he's got the yelling with the beard. I love how angry he looks, man. Look at the difference. This one, this Sammy looks like he's actually pissed off. This Kevin looks like he's having a freaking Five Guys burger, which probably cost him $88. So that's just the difference there. But I do like the likeness on this head sculpt. I just don't like the hair. The hair's all weird and natted. And I know it's at the end of the match. It's after they've won the titles. But again, man, I think it's all about aesthetics versus accuracy in this situation. So I think a regular hair mold would have been fine. And then for interchangeable hands for Sami Zayn, you do get white hand tape, white peg fisted hands. You get mic holding or weapon wielding style hands. And mine's got some schmutz on it. And then you get the throne sitting, prayer clasping, slap in the thigh, all kinds of different style hands here. Entrance hand, all kinds of different style hands here. So getting into Sami Zayn, man, starting out at the top of the head sculpt. We like this head sculpt. We saw it on Elite 106, so I like this head. I don't have any problem with that head sculpt here for Sami. We have this new torso, which is very unique. It kind of reminds me of Jazzwares, how it's very one of one, right? Like we haven't seen this on any uh, anybody else. Looks very clean. It is the standard shoulders and arms, which we've come to know for, you know, like standard arm size. We've seen it on multiple guys in the past. We get them on Seth. We get them on Finn. We get them on Sami Zayn here. So kind of the standard go-to arm mold. But the torso does look good, man. I like the butterfly joints and everything. Now, as far as the crotch piece and the leg, this is actually a brand new crotch piece, but the legs are pretty much the same. You got your different Sami Zayn logos here, but the only thing is, is it is missing the PWG logo that's supposed to go right here. I do believe it was like a gold logo there. They couldn't put that on there, even though it was in the render of the basic that we got of these guys. So the basic Sami and the basic KO render shots did have the gorilla, but then obviously in the final production here, they don't have it. But they do have pins in the legs, which are great for articulation, but then he has the same damn tall boots here, which aren't accurate, but they do it so his height can be fixed. But as far as Sami Zayn here, man, you get a pretty decent ab crunch out of this. I know it's an ultimate, but you actually do get a decent little ab crunch out of that. Good butterfly joints, you know, and go forward and back and cross the, the arm there, which is always great. The rest of it is pretty standard, but on the drop down hip right here, it's not very good, man. Like, you can't really get the leg up to do the haluva kick, man. That's kind of trash. Not gonna lie to you. Like, that's, like, without pulling the hip down, that's literally as far as you can go. And then if you do the drop down hip, it moves down some, but then I can't really, I can't get it to stay up here. It wants to, like, fold back down, if you guys can see that. So, that's something that I definitely noticed. Maybe you guys are different, but mine certainly don't think it can do the haluva kick without some photography tricks and whatnot. So, we shall see about that. But that is your Sami Zayn Ultimate. But let's get into some Sami Zayn figure comparisons here with this new Ultimate Edition. So, for your Sami Zayn figure comparisons, we do have the Ultimate Edition in the middle, and then from left to right, you have the Elite 91 with the Elite 63. 
three head sculpt, the Elite 102, from his matchup with Johnny Knoxville, which is in black trunks or black cargo pants. Then you have the Elite 106 Sami Zayn or Sami Uso that we most recently got. Same head sculpts here, black cargo pants again and then you have the elite 63 with the elite 91 head sculpt and these are missing arms for different custom reasons i need to replace those i need to get brand new versions of these in the collection there but yeah man another cargo pants sammy zane i do prefer tight sammy zane but i don't know like of the litter like it just depends on what you want here if you want all the extra bells and whistles go with the ultimate but i think the elite 106 completely suffices i don't think you really need this ultimate edition to be honest but that's up to you i guess all right man, so getting into kevin owens i want to review this part of the segment without the shirt and then we'll put the shirt on for the comparison but this just looks egregious from this angle man he just looks tiny look at that head on that damn body i don't like this at all this just looks terrible the shoulders to the to the chest to the head ratio just looks completely off now kevin owens does wear black tight fitted shirts or whatever underneath his shirt but just look at how awful this looks i just don't like this whatsoever i think they should have just gave him the george the animal steel torso and painted it black just give us a a black or the animal steel torso and i do want to bring that in just to compare the two in size and i mean they're not that much different but they're certainly different they're certainly different i think it's how the chest looks so flat yeah dude i i don't know i just i do not like this new torso that they're giving kevin owens here and i understand what they were going for but i don't like it i i don't like it standard arms which i don't think fit they're way too small you know for kevin owens i've said this multiple times we need an arm mold that's between the jacked mankind style and this style you need to have a, a nice model arm that's not like the size of Otis or something or the size of Brock Lesnar and not the size of this or Santos Escobar or damn Finn Balor or a woman's figure. You need a good medium arm that has a nice gradual bigness to it. I don't know how to say it, but you get what I mean. But he does have all his tattoos in here and then black wrist tape, black hand tape, and then he does have his shorts on here. You got the fight down here. You got the KO on the side there, which obviously matches Sami Zayn. It is missing the logo again from pwg but yeah it's it is what it is man i i just i mean pretty much the crotch piece down is pretty much every other kevin owens elite that you've seen knee pads black socks black boots in there i think what makes this figure so damn small is the torso like the torso just really off puts him when we get into this comparison shot let's just get into the comparison and then you guys can see what i'm talking about so for your kevin owens figure comparisons we do have the ultimate edition in the middle you have from left to right the elite 101 you have the elite 91 the survivor series elite and the elite 80 i think it was on the far right and i like the all the elites better than this one in the middle man i just don't like it let's like just get like a standard height like look at the height difference here it's not egregious but when you get this and this is let's get the let's bring in the ultimate sammy here this is warmer but i still feel like that towers over him man i mean kevin owens is six foot man Kevin Owens is six feet tall and Sami Zayn six one. Why is there a massive jump right here, man? Is can is Kevin too small or is Sami a damn? Is he just a freaking freak of nature over here? Hold up. So you have the Kevin Owens Ultimate in the middle. You have the Kevin Owens Elite on the right, and then you have the Sami Zayn on the left there. Let me move this Kevin Owens. Let's get uh, you know what? F it. Let's bring in Roman Football Reigns and Cody Rhodes, and we can look at this. So this this Sami's even taller than this Cody. And I think Cody's billed at 6'2", which I, he's probably 6'1". I met him, and he didn't seem like he was too much taller than I am, if if he was taller than me. And then we do have Roman Reigns here. Anybody met me? What do you think of my height? Was I tiny, or was I big, or was I what I what you expected? I, I'm curious to know. But here's like some just height differences. But the ultimate Kevin Owens is still way too short if you look at him in the middle, man. I mean, he is he's small as hell. And that, oh, God, that bothers the hell out of me. Can't stand it. Makes me want to vomit. And then for one more comparison, we do have the Usos here in Ultimate Edition form up next to our Ultimate Edition Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn figure. Figures. And these look pretty good next to each other, even though Kevin Owens is just tiny, man. Kevin Owens just looks so tiny compared to the rest. Hmm. Hate to see it, man. Would have been so much better. But it's cool to see all of these guys together. WrestleMania Night 1. I know the Usos aren't accurate to their tires. I would love to have those guys in ultimate form from their Night 1 gear. But yeah, this will have to do. You know, we are getting a new J. I mean, I guess technically you could take that new J and then torso swap it with this Jimmy and put Jimmy head sculpts on it. And then you'd have technically, a, I mean, I guess it would basically be like updated jogger Usos together. But we're going to get more Jimmys, man. We'll get more Jimmys and Js. And we'll probably get a lot more Js than Jimmys now. But... 
Yeah, it's Jimmy J's. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Ultimate Edition review of the Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn Ultimate Edition figures from Mattel, man. At the end of the day, I'm pretty disappointed, mainly with the Kevin Owens figure. Being a massive Kevin Owens guy and just enjoying his work on such a level, man, when I say he is one of my, like, top guys, I, tr like, I genuinely, every time this man's on my screen, I'm enjoying what he's doing, man. And there's not very many out there that can do what he does. And he's, he's just the best, man. I truly hold him in a high regard. I'm pretty disappointed in this figure for him, man. You know, he's obviously way too short. He looks tiny compared to not only his old elite figures, but the Sami Zayn towers over him. And I understand Sami Zayn's 6'1 or what have you, man, but the difference is not that vast. The difference in 6'1 and 5'11 is not very different when you're standing in front of him, or hell, even 5'10", man. It's not that big of a gap. And yeah, this just this just disappoints the hell out of me seeing this. I do like some aspects of the figure. I guess the only things I like about it is having, uh, you know, this much articulation out of a Kevin Owens, but I mean, even then, it's not the greatest. I do like having butterfly joints and double jointed arms, but his elite figures, I would say, are better than this, you know? I just don't think I would go out of my way to secure this Kevin Owens Ultimate Edition. And I, I dare to say, I'd rather have the Elite Sami Zayn from Elite 106, possibly. Unless you just want the specific gear, the specific moment, and you want these added things. I don't know, man. You know, like, you do get the tag titles, which is cool, even though, you know, I mean, they're they're no longer a thing. We have brand new tag team championships now, but the screaming, even, like, the things I was looking forward to out of the Kevin Owens just doesn't hit. I think the screaming expression is just kind of a mouth open, similar to a Randy Orton and other guys that we've talked about. I If somebody's yelling or, you know, giving that scream, like, Kevin Owens is usually giving that scream during his entrance when he comes out. His eyebrows are slanted down and, he, and he's pissed off, man. He's not just yelling like he's at the dentist, you know what I mean? He's not looking for his mom at the grocery store, Brad. He's yelling out of passion and he's pissed off, you know? So I would like to see that. The Sami Zayn is a good reflection of an angry, pissed off yell. And then Kevin Owens is just kind of like, ah. So I will say that about the figure, man. And I do like this new torso on Sammy. I like some of the things going on with Sammy. The Elite 106 head sculpt that it comes with does look good, obviously. The smiling head sculpt does look much better than I was anticipating. And it is from a really great moment. I loved this match. I loved this moment. I loved this story. I was there in person for this matchup, so I do love those things about it. But the execution of the figures, or at least the Kevin Owens figure, really disappoints me. The Sami Zayn, the only thing I really don't like is the screaming head sculpt in terms of the hair. I just think it looks a bit weird weird. I know what it was going for, but that goes back to things that we talk about, about you have to, accuracy and aesthetics. There's a line that you got to follow. And I think that, you know, this doesn't necessarily hit for me. So there is that, man. But I do enjoy the figures in certain ways, obviously. But yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I think I would pass on both. It also doesn't have the PWG Gorilla. So there's that, which I understand they couldn't include that. But, you know, it's worth mentioning. And they still make Sami Zayn's boots too damn tall. The old boot mold was much more accurate. But they make them taller so that the figure will be the correct height. And give him those, you know, those Sergeant Slaughter pants. Or those Colonel Mustafa pants that they gave him back in Elite, what was it, Elite 91 or something like that. So, yeah, there's all those things, man. But if you guys like these figures, you want these figures, you can't go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS when shopping at WrestlingFigures.com. I'd greatly appreciate it. But that's pretty much my stance on these figures, man. Definitely not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite. And I look forward to the next Kevin Owens. I was just thinking when we got Kevin Owens Ultimate, it would be a nice... I thought that they would go with possibly the George the Animal Steel torso. And it would be really easy because they could include two or three cloth goods shirts, you know? And this guy only gets one shirt, so it's, I don't know. And, you know, it's a very specific moment, too, right? I mean, this is the night of WrestleMania 39, and that is it. And they may have worn it before that a little, or a little after. It's just not the same. I would have liked to seen some of his other gears. You know, maybe his, his duct tape NXT shirt KO that we, we'd never seen that in figure form, or at least Elite or Ultimate. Would have been cool. I don't know, man. I'm gonna shut the hell up. That's just my gripes on the figures. You guys can let me know what you think of these down below, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. I appreciate you every single day. But you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you guys later, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>